Hello friends, welcome back to the Smart Excel. This video is a continuation of my the third video, which I'll be showing you how vendor appraisal performances, appraisals, techno commercial comparisons. So there's a simple method and there is an advanced method. Simple method is with criteria and sub criteria. In the advanced method, there is sub criteria and sub criteria. So there is a data validation simple way and there is a data validation so you can use indirect and substitute formula. So simple formula has a total score and uh, if formula has the advanced method has some other different type of formula so this is the formula in the simple and this is the formula in the advanced method for getting the total score so let's go and see this one this is the technical scoring where we have a data validation please refer to my previous video where i have showed you how to get this and uh, how to add the scoring in so this is a simple one you can add 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a data validation and you get this answer and this is the formula. So if, if you want to have an advanced method, this all this is on a subjective basis. So if you select one or two or three, there is no proper criteria or justification for this. So if you want to have some criteria and ratings, sub criteria, and then you can get a score. That is an advanced method. So that is the difference I'm going to show you in this one. So this is the uh, criteria and these are the sub criteria and each sub criteria has a scoring so it will go to a score. So how it actually works is in a normal method you just have the criteria and you give the score. So this is the criteria that I showed you. So these are different criteria. You do a data validation and you can do it manual scoring. But here in the advanced sheet these are the criteria, and when for these criteria, so these are the criteria, and for these criteria, you have so many sub criteria. So if you select any of this, so if you select the value of person, you will you can only select you will get an option to select this to this type of sub criteria and based on each sub criteria you will get a scoring and a scorings are like whatever in the index so it should be 0 1 2 3 4 5 but i have just made it um, more complicated so if there is something you can change from here and if you want to make this one and here five that also you can done but just to, just to say for the example i have made this and you can shuffle anywhere so if you want to have a proper justification so before you hand over you just have to log this cell in the password so it this is the way it works for the advanced method so this is the so you can refer to my previous video how you get this so it's just i'm going to show you how to get that is the you have to write a formula in this one so it's the indirect formula for c12 so whatever you type in indirect c12 with the substitute the substitute formula is important because if you go to formulas and name manager we can see we can see this names so this names if you are having one more than one has a double has underscore so ranges cannot have spaces as per excel so whenever there is a range excel make converts them into a double uh, into underscore so you can see it's underscore to, to uh, the formulas to be understand with Excel, you have to have a substitute formula so that the underscores can be uh, the, the underscore can be made as a space, convert into a space. So, so this is uh, the copy of the sheet. So I just have broadened this one. So when you select a criteria, and you can see a sub criteria based on the underscore. You get different options for each one you have different options so this is a trick over here and this on this weightage you get a scoring so the formula is what uh, the formula over here is like it's a normal formula for the weightage but here we have a advanced formula so as i showed you the sheet over here is having a normal formula a simple formula here 
but here you can have a advanced formula so you get a advanced formula like this you have an advanced formula like this one this is a simple one then how to make this into a perfect formula <coughs> so you can have the formula with the match option so you can type it as yes. <coughs> match and okay so it's looking for a lookup so to match this one and with what so if you want to match i want to match this with the, this and i want an exact match so if you want an exact match it should be zero and hit enter now you get a na error because this all has been in a data validation so this is a data validation you have to go to data validation so you can copy this because the excel doesn't understand if there is a data validation so i'll remove the c to l and i replace with this form control v so i copied it control c and i made it control v and i will hit enter so now you can see the position it's in three so if I see this, this has become 1 and the last one will become 7. You see this is not the right answer because x in this, it is giving the position of the cell. So if you see that payment terms and 30 days after invoicing, suppose you go there. So you see payment terms and 30 days after invoicing third number. So 1, 2, 3. So Excel is calculating on the position. So this will be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So it's calculating the position. Actually, I don't want to have the position. So you can see whatever you calculate is going to be the number. So this is not the right answer. So I want, if I want to get the right answer, so let's compute this formula. So I'll be uh, leaving this as it is and I will be copying, I will be making this into a cell reference 1, 2, and 3. So when I copy and paste for the other, other things, the formula will be easily copied so i don't want to do it manually again and again and after that i want that to be the formula like the same one where you can see g4 divided by 5 into e14 so so you have to multiply by the weightage so what i'm going to do is divided by Five and multiplied by the weightage. And I'm going to hit enter. And if I want, I can scroll this down. So this is error. So the it's error because uh, we have a solution to that also. So this is the formula. Now, as I told you, I want to have an index. So I want, I don't want Excel to take this as a situation. I want this to be an index. So it, I want this to come here. Excel will come and search here. And when I get it on any of the options, it has to go in the top. So this will be my index. So for that index, what I'm going to do is I have to write an index formula. So it will be like an index and match formula. So I'll be copying this and I'll be typing this I N D E X. Open the parenthesis. So the array will be here. So this is going to be my array. So just make sure that you don't have anything down. So in future, if you want to add something, it will be more easy. So I'll be selecting as a whole set. So it will be going till the end. And I'm going to lock the cells for this completely. F4 and lock the cells. Now I put a comma. So it is asking the row number. So the row number will be 1. For when I have this as my database, so I have, I have selected this as my index database. So I want this as 1. So it will be calculating 1 here. So it will be 1. So it will be 1. And put a comma. So it is asking the column number. So already I have a column number. But I want to check the column number. 
So you can see the column number is selected totally. I don't want this as a whole column number because I want to segregate this formula from here so that I don't get an error. So be very careful in this and you have to put a parenthesis. So now if you can check it, this is an array, a row number, a column number. So the formula should end in this position. And I'm going to hit an enter. So now it's giving the answer four. Now I'm going to just drill this down. So you can see that I will give you two options. So payment terms, if I select it as 30 days, it is giving five. And delivery program, if I select this as impressive, or extra, it is giving 10, full marks, 10. So 30 days, the five because of the weightage. So if I reduce this to 10, if I reduce this to five, I will get a five answer over here. You can see it's getting five. So let's go and check that. So if you want to see that, what is the score for here and what is the answer for X stock delivery program? So it's payment terms 30 days, 30 days is five. And delivery program is X stock, it's also five. So it is multiplied into the weightage. So it is giving you 10. So you can see that now the formula is working fine but i want to i don't want to have these errors in my sheet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put an if error condition if error i would open the parenthesis so this will be my value and the value which i don't have will be a zero so you can see that when i drill down whatever has no value will be a zero now I can copy this formula and I can paste to the other sheets also. Control C and Control V. And you can paste it as much times as you can. So whatever, whenever you select some sort of database, it is going to give you the answer. Based on those answer, you can get a scoring. So if you select so if you select this thing based on the scoring you get a rank so you can see the rank over here is one for this vendor this vendor and rank two so the based on total score so you should have a rank formula on this so this is some formula and this is a rank formula so you get the proper answer the, the purpose of this is to see who is uh, standing in each position based on the objectives so it's not something which you give scoring like one two three four five now you can justify the scoring and you can see tell you can people can uh, anyone can understand the uh, creation of the selection process it's very really clear with the objectives so I feel you find this video useful and uh, you should refer to my previous videos also and please uh, have a study on this. It's a, sim it's a simple way, just a te technique. It had to be a little bit technical. So I would like you to uh, share this video to many people because it's a very unique video and very less people have this video about this. and. Um, Please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and let's see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.